Hey wonderful people, it's Genevieve and if you don't know me, my goal is to teach you all about illustration and design. And if you're new on this channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos and so that you can join the wonderful community that we have going on across social media. And with that said, let's just jump in. answering the question that I get by far the most often, which is how do you know which canvas size to choose when you're creating digital art? I know this subject can be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you're new to digital art, but don't worry, I'm not going to get into the technical stuff. I'm just going to answer the question by painting a big picture so that you can easily understand and create your own canvas. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to give you a few pro tips of what you need to know for posting on social media as well as a little thing that you need to keep in mind if you are a Procreate user. Okay, so we see images on the screen, but what are they made of? Let's say we take this little cola here and we zoom in quite a lot. We're gonna start seeing a bunch of little squares, and those little squares are what we call pixels. So you can think of images as being mosaic with tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. One great thing about these little squares is that we can count them. So the dimensions of an image is really just how many pixels there are in it. So for example, here on the left, we would have an image that is five by five. And on the right, we would have an image that is 10 by 10. Just a little note here, by convention, the first number you give out is the width of the image. And then the second number is the height of the image. But what happens if we bring in a secondary unit of measurement? Well, this is really where it gets super interesting and this mostly applies to print. So let's say that we use our 10 by 10 square again and we also say that now it measures one inch by one inch. So we have the pixel measurement and we also have the inch measurement. Well, there's nothing that says that we cannot just go in and squeeze in more pixels in that one by one inch square. So for the same surface area, we now have a 20 pixel per 20 pixel image. And that's what resolution is. That's how many pixels there are in one little unit of surface area. And in general, the more pixels there are, the better quality of the image. So now that we've covered all the basics, we can actually circle back to the original question, which was, how do you choose a canvas as? For that, you have to ask yourself one very important question, which is the art that I'm creating. Do I want to be on screens only or do I also want to print it? If it is only for screen, it is super easy. Just worry about the dimensions. You can forget about resolution. That's not important for you. So whatever you see on your screen is pretty much what other people are going to see on their screen as well. If you are not zoomed in or zoomed out, of course. So if you're looking at your image at a 100%. And if you're creating your image for screen only, my guess is you want to post it on social media, which is great. But there are a few more things that you need to keep in mind in that case. If you are posting on social media, just know that they actually compress the image before putting them out. So whatever you see on, for example, Facebook or Instagram is never going to look quite as good as what you created, for example, in Photoshop or Procreate. So that is not you, that is just how it is and that sucks. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is ratios. So what a ratio is very quickly, it's just pretty much the proportion of the width of the image and the height of the image. I would say there are pretty much two ratios that you need to memorize and it's super easy. So for Facebook and Instagram mostly, it is either square, so a ratio of one by one, or a rectangle uh, that is four, the width is four, and then the height is five. What they recommend in terms of pixel, because the ratio right now, that would be just the tiniest image if you actually did an image that is four by five pixel, don't do that. What these um, Instagram and Facebook recommend is to have at least a width of 1,080 pixels. So if it is a square, you would have 1,080 per 1,080. If it is a rectangle, it would be 1080 for the width and then the height would be 1350 pixels. I personally would recommend if you are drawing to create an image that is at least 2000 pixels um, wide, 
when you are creating it and when you're working on it so that you can zoom in or crop some parts uh, without losing too much quality in the creative process. Once you're ready to export and post it, you could then uh, scale it down to 180, but you don't even really need to worry about that because like I said, social media will compress your images themselves. If you want to print your image, you're also going to need to consider resolution. So if we go back to our definition of resolution in print as being simply the number of pixel for a specific unit of measurement, then it becomes really easy to pick a canvas size for print as well. So the first thing you need to know is that there are a lot of conventions when printing, which makes everything really easy. For example, resolution is usually calculated for print in DPI, which means dot per inch. And we say dot in print because it's a dot of ink on a paper instead of a pixel on a screen, but you can just think of it as being pixel per inch. So for the best print quality, you would usually aim for 300 DPI. You can go as low as 150 DPI, but you're going to start seeing some not as great results and you would definitely not want to go below 150 DPI. So I recommend you aim for 300 if that's possible. And all that means is if you're trying to find which canvas size to create in pixel for a print product, you're just going to take the dimensions of the final print in inches and you're going to multiply that by 300, which is going to give you the number of pixels. So for example, let's say you want to print on a regular letter sized paper, so an 8.5 inch by 11 inch piece of paper. You would simply multiply 8.5 by 300 and also 11 by 300, which would give you the dimension in pixels of 2550 by 3300 pixels. I have one last little pro tip for you. If you are a Procreate user, you've probably already noticed that there is a limited number of layers that you can create in one canvas. That number depends on two things. The first thing is the capacity of your iPad. So the memory, the strength in some way of your iPad. You cannot change that. That is out of your control. It depends on which iPad you purchase. The second thing you do have control over and that is the dimensions and the resolution of your canvases. So for example, if you create a really big canvas and you want to print it so it is a 300 dpi canvas, you're probably going to be able to use only a handful of layers. If you are a Procreate user, you might consider creating images for print at 150 dpi just so that you can have enough layers. I know it's not the best resolution, but you're still gonna get really great results and it's gonna be way less frustrating to draw and just not have to juggle with just like five layers for your creation. So that is one way you can go around that. If you do want to have a whole lot of layers and still work at 300 dpi, or if you can best, the dimensions are just insanely big, you can use a few tips and I'm not gonna get into too much detail here because that is kind of too much for this specific video, but you can create separate canvases. So for example, one for the background and one for the main character and have them be the same dimensions, of course. And then you kind of just uh, like copy the canvas for the background and import that in your character as just one flat layer. So that is one tip that you can do if you are someone who know that, you know, you know you, you like to use a bunch of layers and I am totally guilty of that. So, so yeah, there's nothing more complicated than that. Now you should be able to create any kind of size for any project that you are working on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help the channel, believe it or not. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week. I'll see you soon.